This conference will now be recorded. All right, so today is Thursday, June 4th. We are into June trading, and, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, we, we start to see a little bit more volume coming back in, like I said a little bit earlier from that anti-probe stuff. Um, anti-trust probe, we're going to see a lot, of, hopefully a lot of volume coming into things. They took some real big hits yesterday, so I'm going to have to assume there's a lot of ask prints that we're going to have to be uh, – uh, well, you need to be satisfied coming back up, but we're going to take it from what we see this morning, obviously me not being here. And as always, everything that we're going to be going over today is for educational purposes only and nothing is intended as any type of investment advice. Um, can we kick out of me? <laughs> no, we cannot. But you guys can uh, banter as much as you'd like. All right. So let's talk about what we have going on this morning. First of all, let's talk about BYND. So it looks like BYND made its move yesterday on um, that move that we were waiting for, for to really kind of break out from those prints that we had at 103 and 104 and 105, um, all the way up to our highs yesterday at about 108.80. And then it looks like we're pulling back a lot of what we're uh, – we're going to see a lot of it, just, you know, the, the big pullback from a lot of the buying that we saw coming back into there. Now, this morning, unfortunately, I don't really see any type of prints. You know, we, we got some good movement coming back towards that upside. We can see you got one print at 102. Um, 101 is it's, it's pretty much mixed because of the fact that there's only two prints out there. One's an ask, one's a bid. Now, obviously, 4,900 is a lot more on the bid side than we saw what came in on that ask side. Um, but other than that, really going to have to wait. Just, you know, as always, we're going to have to wait for some type of show of hand. Selling at 99 and 100 near close yesterday, which it's not letting me see. Okay, so not too far into the close. So very interesting. We will uh, definitely make a mark of that, which we have 99 and 100. So we're making that move back towards the upside is what it looks like off of our bid prints. And then we'll expect it to go back right down. Now, obviously, the logical point would be once it breaks right past here at that 97.50 level, we're going to be expecting to go to that double bottom right here at that 96. All right, so looking a lot better knowing those prints. Now, next thing we have a CTRM. So CTRM... Um, I really, really wish that we would have seen more than one print come in at that 10 level, okay? Because, you know, pushing back up to here, 10 is just a huge psychological level for a stock. I mean, you know, we're talking about going from single digits to double digits, which is a very, very big deal here. So um, I, just, I just, I'm not a huge fan of the bigger buying that we saw. Now, you don't get me wrong, I understand that the orders are pretty thin, but we do have some orders coming back up there towards that nine level. I don't think we're going to see anything really sitting at 10, 800 yet. Not really much that's going on there, but you know, overall, we definitely have a little bit of buying, just not as much as, like I said, which I would have liked to see. Uh, you know, volume is great overall, especially for these cheaper stocks of what we see going on out there. So. Not looking too bad. It's just, once again, that 10 level, that's not enough buying for me to say that we're going to need a trigger. I really would like to see a better show of hand here. Next thing is Uber. So Uber is coming back up. But one thing that you want to understand is that that 4010, that 4015 level, I would have expected to see even more of a, uh, a jump up coming back into this. That selling is just absolutely incredible and then we come over here to the 4250 level you can see again just some really big selling even with the fact that the orders are pretty thin so you have 10,000 2,800 5,300 all sitting at that level so you know I agree see it pulling up but it really has a like I said a lot of selling now based off that 4250 I'm going to expect it to still continue up more um, and you can see these riders that came in right around that 4225 level so I'm going to be expecting it to pull up even more before we're going to end up getting that trigger towards that downside um, and then bring us, you know, at, eventually, especially in this consol consolidation from that consolidation underneath that 40 level. Then we have BOX, another one which took a, it looks like their earnings, took a pretty big hit yesterday coming into the uh, come into the aftermarket. Um, and then one of the things that you got to look at, so the prints are pretty mixed. Now, we do have some great selling that came in at that 50, uh, 1550 level. But if we come back over here, you can see it started with buying. And then if we come back down to 16, you can see 16 started with uh, – with buying first before we had that selling coming in. Now, one thing that I'm not really too worried about is the fact that we know there's going to be covering coming into this. I mean, you're talking about a stock that went from $19 all the way down to $14.50. So this, the, the covering, I'm not worried about at all. It's that new selling that we need to see. And that new, that new selling really at the end of the day is what's going to show us that we're going to get a continuation of that move. So still expecting it to pull up a little bit. We're probably, you know, overall, I'm going to be looking to come up above that 16. Um, 
before. Now, keep in mind, when you have a stock that moved down this much, it's almost guaranteed it's going to be an exception. So I'm not going to be expecting huge pull-ups or, you know, of anything of that nature. Really going to be expecting, especially with if actual volume starts come, the actual trading volume, once the market starts to come to, towards the open, I um, wouldn't be shocked now, yeah, for it to just continue towards that downside. Once again, 15, very big psychological level. You can see coming underneath it, it's not an easy level to hold. It's on a downtrend. is isn't an easy level to hold underneath there. Um, so overall, just want to make sure that new selling is continuing and we should be able to see, uh, see a continuation of that move. Two side list stocks, PTI. Now, PTI, I'm not a big fan of the fact of it not hitting 150. Now, we do have some great buying. And the only other variable I'm not a big fan of either is that it's a very quanti stock. Now, obviously, it's an exception. It's going to be an exception today. On average, trades 13 cents. I'm expecting, obviously, more than 13 cents. But you can see it's already pretty quanti looking. So it's on my side list because of the fact that we did not get to 150. And we also just... I'm not expecting anything huge going into it. Now we can, you know, get trade a whole bunch of shares of it. You can see those orders. A lot of the orders, uh, other levels are, are pretty thick looking, and it's definitely continuing to get new buying. Um, so you know, I got to keep my eye on it, but it's definitely towards the bottom of my list. And then S O L Y, another one where we know that this thing has been hot. We bounced right off that 15 level. You could see yesterday, 15, 15 close, hit the 15, and we went right back towards that upside. But I'm not a big fan of how small the buying that we've seen coming into this morning are. Um, you can see most of the prints out here. You know, we do have that one print that we came in at 18 on the bid, then followed by 18 on the S, which kind of pushed it right back up, right you know, right before, as we were coming back into nine, but just not enough. And especially with a stock like this, we need to really get a, need to get a show of hand. It's just too volatile. It moves too much to not have something that's just completely definitive, which we do not have yet. And that is the reason that is on our side list. Uh, unfortunately, big moves will happen when Rich leaves. I swear, I saw the alert come in on my phone yesterday. I, I knew that what, there was going to be something huge that came out there. And of course, a day that it wasn't here. And can we look at CAT? There was a lot of buying after hours. Yes, let's take a look. CAT, let's see what's going on. So absolutely nothing going on this morning so far. You can see... Yeah, pretty much. They just look like you know the, what you'd normally see coming in at four. Um, I don't know what the actual print is, uh, prints were yesterday, but you could see. I mean, four hundred ninety-four thousand shares, which isn't anything that crazy, um, for you know for a stock like Cat. Now, I don't know, you know, if, if anyone knew or hasn't been here, Cat is technically the crystal ball for the Dow. A lot of the times we see, we end up seeing. Uh, Seeing these, uh, the, the Dow end up following and the Dow stocks end up following CAT, you know, and it, CAT makes its move before. So you can see it's really bearish looking when we look over here on that daily chart. So we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on it. But as of right this second, there's just nothing really on there, you know, anything there to go on. Then we have Apple, AAPL. Let's take a look. Anything this morning? No, no, not really anybody. You know, there's there's some uh, decent volume going on, but just not really any type of prints. It's thin order, so, but nothing that I can really go on right now. Um, B L I N. Let's take a look. So yes, uh, it basically started the second I started my meeting. Uh, let's see our four level, nothing. So I'm really, uh, I really would have liked to see a little bit more buying. Now we do have a little bit of buying that came in underneath it, but just nothing at that four. So. Definitely going to be watching that four level. If we don't get any type of prints there, we're going to end up seeing it come right back down. But definitely not even a side list. We'll put that on a regular list. And then lift L-Y-F-T. Let's see. Anything going on this morning? So nice move towards that upside. Just not really anything that I see here. One print 6150 on the ass side. And with really no orders out there, a thousand shares is a lot. I mean, it's, you know, it's not anything to uh, just look past. So I'll definitely keep an eye on it. Just no real trading that's going on this morning. Yesterday, looks like we got a beautiful move up. And then the bears came and took over into the close. Um, so other than that, let's take a look at our scanners real quick. Let's see if anything. I keep seeing TIFF pop up. Let's see. All right, Tiffany. So TIF is going to go on our list. So far, we have some buying at 88, which is just way too far away. So no real great prints, but Tiffany definitely something to keep an eye on because we can see that's a that's a huge move to come in. The huge move came on absolutely no volume, which is um, nothing crazy. And 95 is just a. Uh, 
it's a big psychological level just didn't quite make it there and we're starting to come right back down i wouldn't be shocked to see this thing come almost right back down to that 90 uh eight, excuse me 89 level just because of the fact that it went on up on absolutely nothing especially with that selling that we have here at 87.75 which we really do need to come back under so definitely going to be looking towards that short side looking pretty good all right so let's take a look so let's see what else we got on our uh on our scanners, anything new, BLIN, which we just spoke about, and that is pretty much it. Moving over to the loser side of things, we have absolutely nothing. Oh, actually, let's see, NK, 260,000 shares, looks like, nah. Nope, not really anything that uh that's looking too good there. So we have a have a really nice list coming into the morning. You know, it's it's looking pretty good. And then once again, you know, all the bounces and the prints that we have from yesterday. Let's make sure that we know our stories. We have some really good, you know, new things that are going to be out there. And obviously, I'm going to be starting on a little bit from scratch, not being here from yesterday. But looking forward to this week, this is going to be a lot of good stuff that we got going on. Our losing trades, traders exchange today. TE at ATC.com is going to be at uh, where we send everything. Oh, where you guys are going to send in your trades. And remember, I don't want your, your entry and your exit. I want to know what your thought process was. I want to know what the prints that you followed. The One of the most important parts is what was the dominant market maker prints that you went for within your trade. Need to know that. Um, and then uh, once again, Trader of the Month will be announced later this afternoon. And then also on Thursday, it will be a silent day where you guys will all be working as a team and we will uh we will talk about it at 3 45 that afternoon that's when the, the only meeting of that day will be all right guys anything else that i missed uh happy belated birthday thank you davis appreciate it it was a great birthday this year a lot of good stuff nope ah beautiful so let's get ready for our morning i will talk to everyone in the chat and happy trading